Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters, and I'll be teaching you how to create a light up pop up card. We'll use our LED stickers two different ways to get a focused point of light or a radiant beam. So let's get started. As I've mentioned in previous videos, creating a circuit is as simple as connecting the positive side of the LED sticker to the positive side of a battery and the negative point of the LED sticker to the negative side of the battery using conductive fabric tape. Today I'm going to show you a way to add that circuit to a simple pop-up mechanism. First I've stamped and die-cut the cute fish from Lawn Fawn's Anglerfish Flip Flop and I color him with Copic markers. Next I've cut a few panels of cardstock. I have two card base panels of white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by 11 inches and two inner panels of blue and white cardstock cut to three and three quarters by 11 inches. When assembled, the two card bases will create a side frame for the inner panels. I use a scoreboard to score each panel at five and a half inches and then use my bone folder to fold the panels in half and crease them along the score line. Next, I use my grid mat to find the center of each blue inner cardstock panel along the folded edge and I mark the panel at a half inch on both sides of the center with a pencil. On the white inner cardstock panels, I mark at 3 eighths of an inch on both sides. Then I use a T ruler to continue each line for one and a half inches. By varying the size and width of your cuts, you can make a pop-up of whatever size you need for your creation. There are also cutting dies that will die cut and score the pop-up mechanism in your cards without the need for measuring and fussy cutting. I use scissors to cut along each line to create my pop-up piece. Finally, I use my scoreboard to create a score line one and a half inches down on each tab that I cut. Then I fold and crease along that score line. When I open the card, I can use my finger to gently press the center tab towards the inside, creating the pop-up. I do that for a blue panel and a white panel, and then I fit the blue panel on top of the white panel. The blue panel will be where I create my design, and the white panel will be where I create my circuit. And then the other white cardstock panel, originally cut to four and a quarter by 11, will fold around the other panels to hide the pop-up mechanism. Next, I figure out where I'd like my angler fish to pop up and mark the dangly light on its head with a pencil. I use a hole punch to cut a small eighth of an inch circle. Then I layer the blue pop-up layer on top of the white pop-up and use a pencil to trace the hole onto the white panel. This will show me where to place my LED sticker. And now it's time to create my circuit. I've cut a small piece of white cardstock to three quarters of an inch by two inches and I fold it in half to create a simple battery holder. I adhere that to the bottom right hand corner of my panel. Then I use my stencil to trace the shape of my LED sticker, keeping the point of the triangle stencil on the right and the long side of the triangle on the left. The point is the negative side of my circuit, and the long side will be the positive side of my circuit. Next, I draw my circuit for reference. I draw a line from the point of the triangle to the inside of the battery holder, which is the negative side of my circuit. Then I draw a line from the long side of the triangle down towards the battery holder, and continue the line up along the top of the holder and over to the inside, which is the positive side. I add a little adhesive to the circle where I'll eventually place my battery. Then I run a line of conductive fabric tape from the inside of the circle to the point of the triangle. When I reach a corner, I fold the tape backwards in the opposite direction that I want to go to create a crease. Then I fold the tape forward in the new direction. If you happen to tear or cut the tape accidentally, don't worry. You can just lay another piece of conductive fabric tape overlapping the first to keep the circuit functional. I adhere my battery over the first line of conductive fabric tape with the positive side of the battery facing up and the negative side of the battery touching the piece of conductive fabric tape we just laid down. Then I add a second piece of conductive fabric tape. I start on the inside of the battery holder, 
fold it over the top of the battery holder and continue up to the long side of my triangle. I'm using a white fade animating LED sticker that's shaped like a heart. It's not quite the same shape as the triangle, but I follow the same general idea, adhering the point of the heart over the conductive fabric tape on the negative side and the longer curved tops of the heart over the tape on the positive side. When I close the battery holder and press down, the positive line of tape touches the positive side of the battery, completing the circuit and my LED sticker starts to fade in and out slowly. To help reinforce the sticker, I add small pieces of conductive fabric tape over the point of the heart and the curved parts of the heart. This just helps ensure that my LED sticker won't shift. Next I fold my card and pop up the center. When I place the blue cardstock panel over the top and press down over the battery, you can see the light shining through the hole we punched. Once I'm sure that everything looks good and lined up, I add adhesive to the circuit panel, making sure to not add adhesive under the battery holder. Then I fold the panel and use the center crease to help me line up the blue panel on top. I press to adhere each side and then check one more time that my LED sticker is working. I use adhesive to add my angler fish to the pop-up, making sure to center the dangly bit over the LED sticker. I add push here directions over the battery to help the recipient know what to do when they receive the card. Then I add adhesive to the other side of the circuit panel and adhere it to the white card base panel, centering it to create a white frame. To complete the simple design, I add a sentiment stamped from You Are Sublined from Lawn Fawn over a stitched heart on the front of my panel. When you open the card, the little fish pops up and lights up when you press the battery. And since I left an opening at the bottom of my panel below the battery holder, I can slide a strip of cardstock between the top of the battery holder and the battery to break the circuit for mailing. Watch the previous video in the series for information on why you should always add those cardstock strips when mailing your light up cards. So from my first card, you get a very focused point of light that really helps the angler fish glow. But what if you want more light to shine through? On my second white inner panel, I create another circuit following the same basic guidelines of the last one. I've sped up this part of the tutorial, but you can see that my circuit looks very familiar. The only difference is that this time I'm using an original white LED sticker. Once you've completed the circuit panel, you'll flip the panel over so that the circuit is facing away from you. Pop up the center just like you did for the first circuit and fit the blue cardstock panel on top. When you press down on the battery on the left side of your card, the LED sticker lights up. But since it's on the other side of the pop-up, it creates a wide beam of light instead of that focused point. When you add the white card base panel, you can really see the glow of the LED sticker. Originally, I planned to use the same inner blue cardstock panel as the first card, but you'll notice that I changed my mind here. I've die cut a light bulb from the Lawn Fawn String of Lights die set with white, pink, and silver glitter cardstock and adhered it together. I add a little adhesive and adhere the light directly to the pop-up. Then I turn the circuit panel over so that my circuit is facing up. I add adhesive to the panel and then adhere it to a white card base. I add the little silver light string to the pop-up and the push here instruction. I use the same design on the front as my anglerfish card. Here's a closer look at the inside of both cards with my desk lights lowered. 
You can see that the dangly bit on the angler fish glows, but you don't see much additional light around the fish, while the entire light bulb glows on the other card. Using the darker cardstock also helps to contain the light into a focused area. And when I turn off my lights completely, you really see the difference between having the LED sticker facing forward on the anglerfish pop-up or backward as it is on the light bulb card. There are lots of fun ways you can use both of these techniques depending on what you want your light to look like. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics for Paper Crafters video series and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and happy crafting. Bye!